Hello beauties, welcome back to my channel. It's Cece Clark here and if you haven't already, please do subscribe, join the family. But today, well, we're gonna do a little get ready with me, tutorial testing new makeup to kind of achieve this makeup look. <laughs> um, and I do wanna have a little chat about the dreaded coronavirus. Now, I've been conflicted as to whether to talk about this or not, but do you know what? I actually watched Billie Eilish's story yesterday and it inspired me to use my platform as well, just to kind of spread a bit of, well, one, positivity, but two, I wanna kind of let you know some facts and, um, Three, disclaimer, I'm not spreading any fake news, but I do want to let you know that um, a lot of this video is gonna be my thoughts and opinions on how this might affect our industry, what I think you could be doing to help, and yeah, just kind of what I'm gonna be doing as well in this period, because it's scary and we need to come together, and I just feel like, I don't intend on talking about it much on my platforms, but I want to do it concisely and have a chat with you. Obviously play with some makeup whilst we're doing so, so we can still be creative. <laughs> and before I do start putting my makeup on, <laughs> I do want to let you know that my single comes out on Friday the 20th of March. If you're watching afterwards, then you can download it now. You can buy it on iTunes, you can stream it on Spotify. The links are in the description. Please pre-order it because every little pre-order could help me, an unsigned artist, get into the charts. And I know that you're gonna love my single too because, well, basically it's about not letting anyone tell you that just because we wanna be glam and wear makeup and take pride in maybe our fashion or whatever, that we can't be CEOs, we can't be business women. And I'm basically here to say we can do whatever we want, we can do it all if we want and we can wear makeup at the same time. <laughs> oh my gosh, and also, anyone that does pre-order on iTunes, you're automatically entered in to win a Gucci bag and a huge bundle of makeup. So that's just a little incentive and an added bonus to give back. But let's get into this video. Okay, so I'm gonna start off by moisturizing using Ule Henriksen Nurture Me Moisturizing Cream. Smells so good too. I don't wanna instill any fear. I'm not fear mongering or anything like that. It's just we have to wise up and be clued him at this time because it is a serious situation. Just to let you know that it is increasing day by day. The coronavirus cases, there's 183,000 at the moment um, and the total deaths are 7,182. And the total amount recovered so far is 79,911. Um, so people are recovering and obviously we know that it affects people that are older, people that have previous health conditions. Now I know it's so hard to know what to do, but the only way, because there's so little that people do know about the disease in terms of how to prevent it really, the best thing we can do is isolate ourselves and stay at home until until further notice, to be honest, because we could be that one person that stops the chain and stops the spread. That's really hard, I know. I've kind of made the conscious decision to stay at home as much as possible. I'm gonna get food deliveries. I'm gonna try not to see my parents and my grandma. Sadly, my grandma's gotta be going to hospital to get, she has to go to hospital a few times a week to have something called dialysis, which helps her kidneys function. And I'm worried. I mean, my grandma is a very able-bodied woman. <laughs> she's in her 80s and she still drives herself around. She still cooks, cleans, takes care of a household. And she's like my second mum. She brought me up with my mum. And I don't know what I'd do without her. So I am really worried that she could contract it from a hospital that she has to go to each week. But that leads me on to my next point. By the way, I'm using Brand new foundation that I've never tried before, which is the Bobbi Brown Skin Longwear Fluid Foundation. And it's going on beautifully. It's very kind of sheer and lightweight. I was just with my grandma the other day. I was like, you must wash your hands every five minutes. She has to blow her nose every five minutes too, which is dangerous. And that's another fact as well. So you can contract it through cough droplets or obviously fluids, bodily fluids. Her blowing her nose every five minutes because she has, she's had a little operation just means that she's more likely to pick it up if she's got any germs on her hands. I wasn't like an OCD hand washer and now I am. I do understand it just feels impossible, doesn't it? But the best thing we can do is just keep ourselves at home. And if people need to work, they need to work. They've got to do it safely. 
I'm not putting anyone down that needs to still do what they can in this period of time. That foundation is really interesting by the way, it's kind of like a liquid to powder formula so it's really lightweight but I don't know if I've kind of put it on correctly with a beauty blender but let's use some concealer now anyway I'm going to use the Fenty Pro Filter concealer in the shade 230 this will probably bring a little bit more coverage to the skin yeah it kind of looks like I just put fat powder over my um, moisturizer hmm it is kind of crazy to see people going out and about to bars to restaurants to the theater still it is very irresponsible, I have to admit. Um, like I said, work, you know, you've got to do what you've got to do. I'm glad people are still at work in a way because I, we still need groceries, we still need to get our food, we still need our packages to come through. I just um, hope that there's, you know, safety precautions in places for all of these workers. But we've got to do what we've got to do in this time. And if we can help it and stay in, then brilliant. I am an advocate for that. Also, what the hell is Donald Trump going on about? He's a virus in itself, like, oh my gosh, this guy. Today he tweeted something about, someone tweeted and said that would be, that would be like calling Ebola the African virus. Like, what is wrong with people? Because obviously Chinese or Africans were the first people people to suffer with that. It is not a time to discriminate or to use any viruses um, as a reason to spread hate. Oh, what is wrong with people? What is wrong with Trump? At least we are gathering together more facts from the actual CDA website and NHS of how to stay safe. Nothing has been implemented in terms of lockdown as of yet. We're kind of having to decide ourselves whether we quarantine um, and that's my question for you as well guys like what's your kind of take on it what are you doing are you self-isolating are you has anyone contracted it that you know of um i'm so sorry for the countries like italy and spain obviously i know that it's hitting you really hard right now it's real you are seeing your family members suffer with this um and i don't think we're too far away from that which is scary i just want to make sure we're doing everything to be able to stay safe and prevent that i'm obviously using my laura mercier baking powder i haven't cream contoured i'm just going to powder contour today let's keep the comment section friendly and informative and supportive and also if you've ever um thought about creating a youtube channel or a blog or an instagram or a tiktok <laughs> now's the time i'd love to support as many of you as possible if you're thinking of starting it up let me know i'd love to come and follow or help share your content now is definitely the time to obviously grow your craft, to practice at home. If you've got piano, you'll be a professional in a few months. Um, you know, get that guitar out, start singing covers. We have to make good out of an awful situation, don't we? So I'm gonna dust away this powder and use the Highlight and Contour Palette by Morphe, which I barely ever use, um, actually. So I'm excited to dip into it again. I'm gonna use a mixture of Debutante and Enemy to kind of sweep away and warm up my skin, to so sweep away that translucent powder and start to add a bit of bronze. I actually um, did a little question box yesterday. This was only for my close friends on Instagram, those in the industry, influencers, people that kind of work in social media, I guess. I just kind of said, how do we think that this is gonna affect us? Yeah, I actually asked my manager the other day what he thought, and initially he said that, you know, we might be okay, anyone that works at home, creating content because more people are gonna be online. And I thought, oh, okay, yeah, good point. However, now a lot of the brands are having a staff reduction and less footfall in their actual stores. They're having to make budget cuts, you know, and it might affect people like myself. It might affect other people that obviously promote things online in all industries from makeup to fashion. But one thing I do pray is that, and obviously everyone does, is that it blows over. And I do, have had a lot of messages saying, well, it's all relative. A lot more people are going to be online. I know for a fact I've been shopping more. <laughs> So I've actually been buying more online because I've been bored and I still love to get creative and use makeup. So if I'm anything to go by, hopefully we can still keep the circle going. But obviously that's dependent on you guys being able to earn money. All I pray is that this just 
ends really quickly. That is the dream, isn't it? I'm now gonna use this gorgeous, oh my gosh, look how bright this blush is. I am gonna use a little bit of it because I'm really intrigued. Um, it's called Coer Batent by NARS, a brand new blush. Oh, I like it, kind of matches my wig. <laughs> by the way, this wig is actually from, bought it from Amazon, blonde, and then I dyed it with Arctic Fox, Electric Paradise actually, and a little bit of girls night. But I just think now's the time for us to be connecting with you guys. So if we're online, obviously I want to help any brands. I want to be able to keep working. I want them to be able to keep benefiting. But the main thing and the main reason I've always done this is for you guys to help educate you, to obviously bring you positivity on the internet, inspire you creatively, be it through music or uh, makeup <laughs> or hair or fashion, whatever, you know, just spreading light and love is my main goal and I've just been blessed to take part in such incredible campaigns along the way which I have you to thank for so thank you and of course you know that I only do ads with products and brands that I truly love and have tried and tested and can be a really genuine and authentic <laughs> authentic um, ambassador for. Okay, so let's move on to the eyes now, guys. Eyes now, guys. And I have um, some newness to try. So this is the new Huda Beauty Pastels Mint palette and it's so beautiful. I'm gonna recreate one of Doja Cat's look from her iconic Say So video. A few people have been creating minty looks such as Jamie Genevieve, my friend Nina V. I just think they're beautiful, so let's do that. I'm gonna use a few of the brushes that Hood has actually sent me that just kind of complement her new eyeshadow range, which is beautiful. I'm gonna prime the lids first, just with a bit of the Fenty concealer. I've already done my brows. I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow. I'm gonna start by going in with this little minty shade here, just all over the lid. This is quite a nice, soft, minty color. And then I'm gonna build the intensity with this kind of deeper, more vibrant, minty turquoise color. I'm gonna pat it around the kind of lid and then blend into the socket and just gradually blow it out. I mean, the Huda Beauty pigments and colors just never disappoint. Blow it out towards the tail of my brow. So guys, what do you all do um, for work? Have you been told to stay at home? Do you kind of work from home anyway? I would love to just have a little insight into your lives and how this is affecting you, the whole coronavirus, which is basically like saying Voldemort. <laughs> so effective, yet like that was so quick to create. Got a little tip for you, something I've been doing recently. Okay, that looks cute. Um, now, this is my little tip. I've been using the Morphe concealer in shade C000, um, which must be the lightest shade they do. It's like pure white. And I actually use this on my inner corners. Any color, it just makes it pop. And sometimes I just buff out a little bit. Sometimes I use a bit more. I'm gonna take a little bit just to kind of carve out my eyebrow and to highlight my brow bone. Just lifts the brow a little bit. That already looks really gorgeous. I'm now gonna use this kind of shimmery shade. It's almost like an iridescent yellowy minty shimmer. Just to really pack on top of the white concealer. You can already see the difference that it's making. I put a little bit of um, the kind of white concealer into my waterline, just the excess that was on the brush, just brushed it into my waterline. Um, now I'm gonna use the Benefit Roller Liner. I love this, actually. One sweep, baby. <laughs> now to perfect it. Actually, I've kind of extended it all the way down to my tear duct just to elongate the whole eye and angle the flick up. Okay, I'm gonna test out this new mascara by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I've heard great things about this, to be honest, so I'm expecting great things. Wow, there's a lot of product that comes out on this brush. I have glued up my eyelashes as well, so I am gonna be using falsies on my outer corners, but wow. And onto the bottom lashes. It's very 60s, isn't it, actually, this look? Ooh, this mascara is gorgeous. I'm gonna add these little lashes as well, which I've cut in half. They're by Unicorn Lashes, and they're in the style Majestic AF. Kind of stick these on the outer corner. Guys, I'm so chuffed with how 
these eyes have come out oh my gosh I literally will be recreating this <laughs> for the rest of quarantine. <laughs> so last but not least, let's move on to the lips. I'm gonna try out a couple of new products. So I've got the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat Pencil in Pillow Talk, number three intense. So it's quite dark. We'll see how that works out. I wanna kinda go for a bit of a paired back nude, um, but I wanna blend that in if you get me. Um, and then I'm gonna use Smashbox in shade Stepping Out. And this is the lipstick, so looking forward to trying that out I mean this might sound extra but then I'm also going to use um, NYX lip lingerie pencil the push-up pencil in the shade lace no silk indulgent bear with me one more product yes four lip products am I mad maybe <laughs> you know me I am a lip obsessed and I have the Bobbi Brown crushed oil infused gloss in the shade Sweet talk. So let's do a little lip tutorial as always and see how it turns out. And here is the finished look, my beauties. Oh my gosh, I love it. I absolutely love the minty eyes. And I mean, I know it was a lot of lip products, but I don't regret it one bit because look at how gorgeous this combination is. And it does really complement the eyes as well. I know there's a lot going on. We've got a lot of colors going on, but I'm kind of here for it. And it was so much fun playing with new makeup and experimenting with something that I've not really done before. So I hope you enjoyed it and let me know if you're gonna be trying it out too. Again, with all of the coronavirus chat, I hope that, um, <laughs> I hope it didn't depress you too much. I mean, we've got to stick together in this and um, I just thought it'd be quite interesting for, for you guys to know where I stand and my thoughts. Again, only trust what it says on, I'll link below the websites that you can trust the information on because we're hearing so much fake news and conflicting advice that um, it's best to go to the reliable sources. But this has kind of been my opinions and thoughts and um, hopefully, it will kind of resolve itself and get better. I'm so sorry for anyone suffering at the moment or that have family that are suffering or that just can't see their family. But I'm gonna be here as per usual, creating content, spreading positivity, gearing up towards my single launch, which kind of feels, I don't know if it's bad timing or not really. We've got to kind of find a light in this situation somehow. People are gonna be at home being able to stream my song. I mean, hopefully it can give you a little bit of an uplifting feel when you're at home. Thank you, thank you to everyone that's tagging me and also sending me screenshots of your pre-orders. I'm replying to every single person on Instagram in my DMs that's sending me screenshots because I mean, it's just so overwhelming to see your guys' support. So thank you so much. And yeah, regular YouTube content a few times a week, that's my plan, especially whilst we're locked down, so I can't wait to be seeing you even more. <laughs> anyway, until next time, beauties, love you lots, Mwah. bye!